Happy Thursday! What's up, what's up, what's up, royal family? Okay, today is our video day. So, you guys, I'm going to take you guys way back. Way back to my childhood. So, the next two videos you will see is going to be way back. You know, like in the 60 something. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I hope everyone is having a great week. I hope everyone is still being safe. We got a cuckoo governor, if I must say. That's just my opinion now. You know, that's just what I'm thinking. But anyway, we're going to do Hungry Man Sloppy Joes. I used to love, love, love Sloppy Joes when I was younger. You know, my mom used to get the sandwich and put that ground beef in it, and hey, we had a party with that. But, you know, since the times have changed and I've gotten older, I don't eat ground beef, so we're going to do it with uh, ground turkey breast, and we're going to make our own sauce. But with that being said, thanks to all of my new subscribers, thanks to my ride or die subscribers, that's special for you guys. All right, let's get this train on the track, and let's get these Hungry Man Sloppy Joes done. Let's get her done. Okay, Royal family, here are the ingredients for our Hungry Man Sloppy Joes. Of course, you guys know I don't eat ground beef, so here I have a pound of ground turkey breast. I like the breast in this recipe because it really gives you a nice texture. You know, kind of like ground beef, a ground turkey is... Um, not really mushy, but the ground turkey breast uh, gives you a strong texture. Here I have one onion, which we're only going to use half of that. I have tomato paste. I have chili powder. I have black pepper. Of course, we have salt. I love, love, love this barbecue sauce. And I'm sorry, guys. That barbecue sauce that everybody uses, uh, raised barbecue or something, you have to try this bullseye. It is off the freaking chain. I promise you, you will love this bull eyes, bull's eye barbecue sauce. I have the original. Of course, I have my best friend, Heinz ketchup. Also, I have yellow mustard. I have Worcestershire sauce. And I have some granulated garlic. And we're going to be using these artesian buns. I do not like a burger, sloppy joes, or anything without a toasted bun. We have to toast them and, you know, get that brown edge around them. Oh, oh my Lord, I'm thinking about it already. All right, let me get the onion cut up. Let me get the ground turkey breast uh, in the skillet. You're going to use uh, a tablespoon of the canola oil for your ground turkey. But of course, the uh, ingredients will be in the description box below. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to first saute the onions until they're kind of translucent. Then we're going to take them out and set them aside. And then I'm going to cook the ground turkey breast. And once I cook that, then I will add the onion back in 
and then I will show you what we will do from there. But go ahead and uh, saute your onion, take them out the bowl, put the ground turkey breast or ground beef if that's what you would like, and cook that, then add the onions back in. All right, after that, I'll show you what we'll do next. Okay, I've done the onions. Now I'm taking the ground turkey breast and we're going to get that browned. I did add salt and pepper to this and garlic powder. And the measurements will be in the description box below. So go ahead and get your meat nicely browned. And if there's any excess uh, juice or grease, such as you're using ground beef, Please drain it off before we get ready to add our sauce to it. Okay, I've finished uh, cooking uh, the turkey. And you see I've added the onions back in. So what we're going to do next, all of the ingredients that I showed you in the beginning, I'm going to put in a bowl and then I'm going to whisk it. I don't like adding each ingredient uh, into the meat. I want it all in a bowl. Then I whisk it. So if there's something I'm needing to do before I add it to my meat, I can correct that. But I'll come back and show you the sauce. But the ground turkey breast and the onions are done. Okay, Royal Family. I've mixed the sauce in a bowl. And of course, I will have all the ingredients in the description box below. But I did barbecue sauce, yellow mustard, granulated garlic, Heinz tomato ketchup, Worcestershire salt, chili powder, smoked paprika, salt, and black pepper. And it balanced out very nicely. And I did not use the tomato paste. I didn't want a tomatoey uh, flavor, so I thought adding that would make it too tomatoey. But what we're going to do now is add it in the meat. And we want it thick, but just in case it's too thick, uh, measure out one third cup of water and I'll see if we need that. Okay, Royal Family, I've added the sauce. And let me just say, uh, I thought I had a pound of uh, ground turkey breast, but I literally had a pound and a half. So what I had to do was double the sauce. So if you have more than one pound of ground turkey breast or ground meat, double the sauce. So that is what I had to do. Now we're going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes on simmer where all of the flavors can come together. So when I come back, I will show you the finished product and presentation of the Hungry Man Sloppy Joe. Okay, Royal Family, here is the finished product and presentation of the Hungry Man Turkey Manwich. When I tell you that sauce is rocking, you guys are gonna have to try this recipe. And for those who are trying to get away from ground beef, if you do it with this ground turkey breast, Lord have mercy. And you see the texture, it's, it's not, you know how uh, turkey is usually mushy. Look at this. And there's no way I could pick this up and eat it for you guys. But you see how it's just sauced? I mean, delicious, delicious, you guys. This is another one, winner, winner, turkey sandwich dinner. You know how it say, we want it to eat like a meal? This will eat like a meal. God bless you all. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video, and I will see you on Saturday, because I'm about to dive into this. God bless you.